Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Craig Oliva, a solutions architect on the Google Cloud Platform team. I'm here today to talk to you about some great ways for you to deliver massive quantities of content to your end users in the most efficient, performant way possible. Now, imagine you've got a killer application running in the cloud and millions of users using your application. Maybe that application is serving high definition videos of cats or perhaps the latest audio for some cool new indie bands, or very likely a boatload of HTML, JavaScript, CSS, or other. You've got tons of content to serve to your users, and those users are accustomed to getting their content fix in milliseconds. How are you going to give your users the experience they demand? You're faced with a number of challenges when it comes to serving large amounts of content to your users. First, your users are located all over the place, but the servers running your application may not be located where your users are. How are you going to minimize the latency for your end users? How can you make sure that the video you are serving to them will actually start playing in two seconds? Second, content incurs internet egress charges. These are fees that you have to pay for transferring data from the infrastructure running your application to your end users. When the amount of content you serve increases in terms of size, quantity, and number of users consuming it, these fees could really add up. Third, you want to make sure that the performance experienced by your end users is unparalleled. You don't want them to have to wait while a page loads or constantly have video buffer on them. Finally, you want to make sure that your content is served 24-7. You need to make sure that when a user is using your application, the content is actually there and not being hit with errors. Developers and infrastructure folks deal with these challenges every day and have leveraged content delivery networks to help overcome them. So what is a content delivery network, or CDN? CDN providers offer a means to push and cache your content as close to your users as possible. By leveraging relationships with ISPs, a CDN provider often has many points of presence near your end users. This helps minimize latency to content and reduces the amount of network egress traffic from your origin servers since the data is now being served at the edge. With such a high number of points of presence, you also ensure high availability and optimal performance for your end users. So how can you leverage CDNs with Google Cloud Platform to get your content to your users as quickly and reliably as possible. One way to achieve this is to leverage Google's global CDN when storing content in Google Cloud Storage. This is a fantastic way to get content as close to your end users as possible. Google has a vast network of edge locations. Google Cloud Storage essentially behaves like a CDN without any work on your part because publicly readable objects are, by default, cached in the Google Cloud Storage network. You can leverage Google Cloud Storage to serve content like video, audio, pictures, or your entire web application, provided that your data is publicly accessible. Another option would be to leverage Fastly as your CDN. Fastly is a world-class CDN provider that directly connects with Google's backbone via Google Cloud Interconnect. This means that Fastly offers customers phenomenal performance and lower latency to content. The Fastly Cloud Accelerator provides a direct connection between their origin shield points of presence to Google's backbone, allowing Fastly to accelerate any content on Google Cloud Storage, Google Compute Engine, or Google App Engine to the user. When a user first makes a request for content, the application attempts to fetch the content from the Fastly Edge Cache at the edge of the network. If it's not there, it then requests the content from Fastly's origin servers, which are directly connected to Google's backbone. If the content is not on the origin server, the content is fetched from the origin server sitting on Google Cloud Platform. From there, the content is then delivered to the end user and cached on the origin server and the edge cache server. When subsequent requests hit the edge cache in the future, the content will be there already. If content is requested from an edge node that doesn't have that content in the cache, it will fetch it from the Fastly origin servers. Now, another option for disseminating your content would be to leverage services offered by Wix. 
Wix provides technology built on top of Google Cloud Platform for creating web applications in the cloud. Wix also offers a set of services under the Wix Media Platform for storing, serving, uploading, and managing image, audio, and video files. These include services for manipulating and storage of images, transcoding, conversion, and storage of audio and video. These services are available via an SDK with Google Cloud Platform, so you can leverage these services directly within your applications. In order to best serve your content from Wix to your end users, Wix offers the ability to add a CDN for distributing your content managed by Wix to the edge for optimal latency, improved app performance, and overall improved experience for your end users. Whether you're running a simple website heavy on text and imagery, or you're serving video and audio to your end customers, leveraging a CDN is a great option to consider. You will improve the overall performance of your application, thus improving the experience for your end users by getting content to them in a speedy and consistent fashion. You'll often reduce costs by reducing the amount of outgoing traffic from your origin servers and offloading that traffic to the CDN. And you'll provide added redundancy and resiliency in case of outages or system failures. Now you know how to best deliver your content on Google Cloud Platform to your end customers. For more information on CDN options, please visit the links below. And be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist. Thanks.